In this video, we are going to take a look at some alignments and creating alignments from just some simple polyline objects. Now this is the way that I find easiest to do your alignments. You lay them out with a polyline first. I like to do it without any points of intersection, so just a bunch of tangents all strung together. And then I'll create my alignment from there and work on it. I just find it easier to lay it out with a, a polyline than trying to do it the manual techniques which we will cover in a, a later video is drawing alignments with the various little bits that they come with so on the screen here i've got a couple of alignments i've got one built just or sorry a couple of polylines one built with just tangents and then i have a polyline with a couple arcs in it so we're going to make an alignment out of this we're going to make an alignment out of this one and just take a look at a couple of the options for creating an alignment from an object so under the alignments drop down, and again, there's many ways of doing this. Uh, you can't do it through tool space, but under the home ribbon, there's alignments, create, and then alignment, create from polyline. I'm gonna select the top one here and hit enter. And up pops Civil 3D asks a question. Do you want to accept the alignment direction or would you like to reverse it? Now what this command means is if we accepted this as the direction, and this is the way I drew the alignment. 90% of the time, the arrow is going to point to the right. The other 10% of the time, it decides to reverse it, and I don't have a clue why, but station zero will be at the beginning, and the stations will increase to the end. So the alignment goes from left to right. And this goes along with how you lay out your drawing sheet and pages to see if it goes left to right. So I'm going to accept left to right and hit enter. I'm going to name this just tangents. So this one we made from tangents. We have different types of alignments. We can do center line, offset, curb return, rail, or miscellaneous. This will be a center line alignment. If you're doing the intersections, you'll want curb returns, possibly offset alignments. Uh, rail, obviously for railways, and miscellaneous for miscellaneous stuff. We have a starting station, so we could change the starting station of this alignment. So we're going to do this one at zero, and we're going to do the other one at probably 3,000 or 4,000, whatever this ends at. It is much easier to set up the starting station now than it is to change it. Before I look at any of the options down here, I'm going to go into my design criteria and look at my design speed. Set up a design speed now. It's not going to prompt you for it later, and you won't have to go looking for it. So what's your design speed? 50 kilometers an hour, 100 kilometers an hour, etc. You can choose whatever you want. And because we're in Canada, I'm not using any criteria-based design because Civil 3D is, uh, it has American data built into it. It's gonna throw up all kinds of warning flags and errors. So do not use criteria-based design. Back to the general tab here. We could put alignments on a site. I tend not to, just so there's absolutely no chance of interfering with anything any other feature lines or parcels or whatnot. So I, I tend not to put them on sites. We can choose a style. We're just gonna do a center line. It's making a layer automatically. I could put different alignment sets on there. So I'm just gonna do, maybe I'll do 100 plus 20. And then we have an option to add curves between tangents. So this one will automatically add curves every time we have a deflection in our tangents. Now, this is just a simple curve, so it's going to basically just fill out these two alignments together. Where if we're doing highway design, we cannot have just plain simple curves. We have to do something called a spiral curve, and we will cover that in a, in a later video. And finally, do we want to erase existing entities or not? In this case, I'm going to leave it selected. This is a pretty simple polyline. If you're doing a more complex, more detailed road, maybe don't erase the existing entities. Now this add curves between tangents, a couple versions ago, Civil 3D 2017 or 2018, if this was selected, it would actually crash your Civil 3D, just right crash it almost instantly. So keep that in mind and be careful with that. I'm gonna hit okay now. And we see that we have zero over here and it's going to 1677 at the end here. And it's thrown in the couple curves with us and it's added in these uh, PIs, points of intersection here. I'm going to create a quick alignment from this one now. Create from polyline, alignment direction. I'm going to name this curves. 
And this starting station, I'm going to start it at 2000 because it's easier to change it now than it is later. Again, no sight, center line. I do not want to add curves between tangents because we already have them placed in. And we're going to hit OK. So if you notice on this one, this one up here, we have the two tangents where the PIs connect. This alignment, we do not. So we drew it with just plain old curves. We don't have the tangents. And it's a lot harder to adjust. We could adjust it based on just dragging some grips, but we'll play with the editing in another video. So that was creating alignments from a couple simple objects, a polyline, a couple polylines. You can make them with lines and I believe feature lines, you might even be able to turn into alignments. So a few different options that we get.